to revise where are we in the course. So we are on weekend five. We still have six weekends ahead of us. And we've covered a full body with the basic technique that if you want written there, remember the hold, effleurage, petrissage, compression, percussion, and vibration shaking. So I'm going to cover that. And then next weekend, we're going to have the internal exam. And after that, we will start doing more advanced technique. And we will revisit all the time what we've done before so we can improve our quality. And how they say, God is in the quality. So that, that you, do, you know what to do doesn't mean that you do it well. And if you do it well, doesn't mean that you do it really well. So there is not much of, oh, I know it. Well, even me, with 13 years of experience, <coughs> I still try to, to learn from my uh, how to improve it. Good. So first of all, when it comes to the massage, I will need a pillow, please. So can you bring a pillow? Yeah? Thank you. So first of all, you will need to help me in setting right the client comfort. So what would be the next thing that I would need to do to make the client comfortable? The pillow under the feet. Now, there are a few ways <coughs> you can ask the client, or you can take the hand, the hands there, and put it there. Good. Is it good? Can I continue? No. Good. So what, how should it be? In further up. So further up. Good. So it will be more relaxed. Good. Is this the second time? Good. So, so the second towel, it goes along the legs. Yeah? <coughs> and you're doing it that way. And you, you tuck this underneath. So no oil would come to their trousers, etc. The upper towel goes longitudinally, so if you see that their hand hanging there, it should also be covered. We talk, what's the reason to do that? Yeah. Keep, the Keep the body warm. <coughs> if you ever had a massage and you're, and you're cold, it's not a great one. In my practice, I have a radiator that it stands outside the the wall. And what I'm doing, I have another third towel that I just drop it on the radiator and it warms the towel. Mm. And then I replace the towels and I tell you one thing brought me huge amount of client is that one. The warm it was worth, yeah. worth every penny. And you should hear the client when I put them up, the hot towels, it's like melting clients. Mm. You never had something so, they feel so wonderful because it's something unique and, and they're warm, really warm. And you see them at the end of the, of the, um, the, at the, end of the treatment, <coughs> they are the parasympathetic nervous system <laughs> firing so much. They are really relaxed and they, they keep coming. Okay. Starting now, yes? Sorry, see, I'm going through the thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe try now. Better? Change it, change it without one. Do you have another one? Should we stop for a second? Yeah. So, good, okay. So now we're starting with a hold, yeah? So, it would be nice to do some... Um, relaxation for you to feel that you are centered within your body. It might be that you just want to stretch yourself. Yeah, to be prepared. You might do it before the client's coming and then you're ready for starting. So, what is the function of a hold? Why do you just put your hand there? To relax the... The client. To relax the client. To make so him well feel your presence. Introduce your touch. You <coughs> yeah. mm. To welcome them. feel that breathing. Yeah. Assess their breathing. The so if they're relaxed, the breathing would be nice and shallow. And if mm. they are stressed, maybe they're holding the breath yet. To reassure the client. Reassure the client. So you are going to be the, the type of a therapist that is um, um, client-centered. They are the center. You're not going to start working very 
uh, abusive, yeah? Anything else? I would say assessment, general assessment. How is it? Yeah. How does it feel? You know, the little bit of a give that it can, so, give, it can put. And, and do you get in at home sometimes, client, that you feel, oh my, you know, it's very tight, yeah, yeah, yeah. and other that you feel a little <coughs> bit, you know, uh, more flexible, yeah? yeah? Good. One thing I like is that when I do the hold, I will put <coughs> their hand in here, so then I can come a little bit closer. So I'll start then. We have free music now. <laughs> <laughs> and want it. So I'm really attuning myself into that. There is no, it's not um, kind of spiritual, or it can be spiritual, it depends on what you want to do. I really feel, how is it today? Does she breathe well? Is she relaxed? Yeah, I can feel that my hand's slightly moving. So I know there is this rhythm of life there <coughs> that moves. So I'm ready. Yeah? Pop this out. Can I undo the bra? Yeah. yeah? So starting with effleurage, like everything else, the beginning is very important. So do it slow. And be really precise with your movement. Actually, there is no movement with your hands. It's your body move. Align your hands with your movement. If you want to come closer, come closer. And uh, walk around. Walk around the table. You can work from above. Yeah. When you're here, you can do like a nice traction a little bit. There is no real rule, really. You can do it side to side. The quality is the rule. The quality is what's important. It's not so much this way or that way. Yeah? Good. There is anything that I can improve now in the way that I'm doing it now? Your posture. Your stance is wrong. My posture. What's wrong with my posture? I'm leaning. I'm leaning. Be so too far from the table. Try to do that, that the torso is almost straight. You can lean sometimes, but not with your spine. Yeah. So really, you're doing that movement. Back leg bend, front leg. It's almost like you're down. You're not up. You're never straight. Good. Now, within effleurage, you can start working a little bit deeper. So you've done your superficial massage. Now, effleurage can be even deeper. Good. I start feeling that the muscle's fine. I now move into petrissage. The idea of petrissage is to move the tissue. So you, I really need to see you moving it. This is superficial effleurage that looks like petrissage. This is a real petrissage. Yeah? I can really feel as much as I can that I'm effective. I'm not just doing the move, okay? After that, okay. Okay, so here I'm looking I'm 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 using the, the wrist base. Yeah? Good. Again I I move. I don't want to work hard. I don't want to have back pain, but I move myself. I use the weight. Later on, when we do deeper tissue, you will see that you're using your forearm the same way. So really leaning. Yeah. How is the pressure? Good. Yeah. Can I go deeper? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I start feeling that there is some tension here, so I can work with my knuckles. 
again, move, movement. It's really about movement. You see how much I move, I want you to do the same. I can use the opposite side of the hand. Yeah? You start seeing the redness. Yeah. That means that the blood circulation improves. That's a good sign. Yeah? Good. Uh, so we did, the only thing I didn't do is ringing. Yeah? Great. Now I start feeling that there is some tension here. So I start doing compression. Even in compression, you need to move. So you use your, you, you, you need to see a lot of the discussion you have with yourself is how to use your body. Right, so I'm in here. I need to move a little bit more upward. And then use it. And then down. And then again, use your body. How's the pressure? Yeah. Good. I can use a reinforced compression. Do very little movement in here. The further deeper I go, the slower I need to move. Yes, oh, Dave? Just one question. Yeah? Do you actually explain to the client what you're actually doing? Uh, limitedly. I can do before and after because I don't want to get them and <coughs> use their brain. So I might do that if they want, but usually I'll do before and after. Good. I can use my knuckles. What else I can do for compression? Elbows. Reinforce thumbs. Or reinforce this way. And then another nice effleurage. It has to come with effleurage after, maybe a little bit of petrissage to assess. And then again. Nice and breathing. And then again, effleurage. Why do I, why do, I do the effleurage after? Relax. Relax them and Tighten. circulation. Remember, muscle tightness, <coughs> you have lack of blood circulation to the muscle. So you work locally, you improve the muscle circulation locally, and then you add on more of a general relaxation. So if you found a pressure point on the right side, would you come on the right side? Mm -hmm. On here? Yeah. It depends. I might want to do it this way or I might want to come into here, or I might come, I might want to come into here. There are no rules. The rules is that your body should be feeling comfortable to deliver a nice and relaxing and deep massage. You can't work deep, but still relaxing, yeah? You can do that. So it's quite deep, but very slow and relaxing. If I work quickly here, it wouldn't be good. Okay? So then, after that, um, let's say I'm, I'm feeling kind of ready to move on. I can take... I can do nice hold and then start very slow with percussion. Percussion, give it time. You can change to, hacking. what's that, hacking? Yeah? You know that you want to do it for a little while, so keep it, and actually what I do, I move with my legs. So everything is there. Good. You can do finger tapping. Tapping. Yeah. You can even come to the head a little bit and do it kind of light. Some client would like it, some wouldn't, so you have to ask them after that. You can come back into here. You can do more of a pounding here. On the sacrum. How does it feel? Yeah, it's fine. 
fine is good enough or? <laughs> I'm not a massive fan, but... She's not a massive fan of that. Okay, so maybe on the glute a little bit. Yeah. yeah? Good. And then you can slowly slow down. Yeah. And then the last technique is the vibration, right? So this is the vibration. It kind of, at times it can be stimulating and at times it can be, be quite relaxing, the client. <coughs> or more of a shaking, remember? Mm -hmm. The oscillation shaking. It can again kind of a lullaby for the client, so it can be very slow and relaxing as well. People who are very stiff would like that kind of approach. So that, would you do it with a towel? Or could I'd you? like it with a towel, yeah. I'd like to do it with a Not a must. Not a must. If it's relaxing, can you do it at the beginning rather yeah. than the end? Yeah, absolutely. You can start it with a hold and then start with a nice rocking. Really a rocking lullaby, I know. And then after that, start with the effleurage, yeah? Now, what I would like you to do, any questions so far? I would like you now, individually, um, do you want to practice on the back or you want to practice on an area that you're lacking experience? Sorry? Yeah. So go into individually to the area that you're lacking experience and both me and Vilta will go around and help you in the area that you need practice. If you know in the back well, do something else. Maybe do the legs, maybe do the shoulder. Yeah? I will do another um, demonstration specified on other area after. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So get into groups. Are we pair up or? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Good. Okay, good.